for instance, we see the phi ratio emerging everywhere in nature, right? Or at least the Fibonacci series, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, it's not one plus uh, square root of five over two, because as I was saying earlier, the universe is not doing math and then figuring it out from there. The universe is doing ratios, right? So it, it's got some, like it, it, it's approximating the ratio, right? If it ever got to exactly phi, then the universe would end because it would have never to learn anything right. again, right? It, it'd be done, right? But <laughs> so, so it, 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 so, so, but the, where does that come from? Right? Why is, where does the universe take the pi, the Fibonacci ratio? It's not, it's not adding, it's not going one plus one, you know, and then one plus two, and then like two plus three, you know, it's not doing that. So what is it doing? Well, if you look at nature, you see the platonic solid emerging everywhere. Like, you know, the petal of a flower, the, the way, you know, you see the cubic the, the, um, the, the dodecahedron, the icosahedron, you see like in, in the structure of crystals, in the structure of atoms, you see tetrahedrons, octahedrons, you see, you know, you see all the platonic solid like present at the basis of nature, all the minerals, you know, all their molecular structure, the bond angles, all this stuff, it's very, very much there. Um, they've even found phi ratios between layers of atoms because now we're able to like observe, you know, layers of atoms um, and so on. And so, it's very much present everywhere. Um, and, and so, so, so when you say, well, where does the platonic solid come from? Right? Well, you know, if you take a, a cube octahedron, which is an Canadian solid and you, um, which is like a tetrahedron, um, and you, you, you jitterbug it like like uh, Bucky did, right? Um, you will go through all the platonic solids. So this very particular configuration of the tetrahedron array outputs. So from the tetrahedron, you get you get the dodecahedron, you get the icosahedron, you get the octahedron, right? The cube. There you go. There you go. Marshall's got it there. So this is the pulsation, the collapse. Yeah. This is a cube octahedron. See all the triangular faces are the eight tetrahedron. Yeah. And then as it collapses, yeah. the thing it does is make a icosahedron. Yeah. Down around somewhere in here is a dodecahedron. It's hard to, to really see in this model. And then it comes down to an octahedron. Octahedron. Then you can fold up into a tetrahedron. Heuristically, 20 years ago, I figured that that had to be fundamentally present in the structure of the vacuum for all of this, um, of all this complexity we see in the natural world to have this kind of uh, geometry present in it. You know, even if you look at the, at the, uh, at the end of DNA, you will see that the way the, the, the protein are organized or dodecahedron structures and, and icosahedron structures and all this stuff. So you can see, you can see it present. And uh, it took me almost 20 years to figure out exactly how the math works for that to happen. Like what are the physics you know, so I knew it heuristically. I knew it based on study of ancient texts and ancient knowledge, based on logic, based on observation and all this. But it took me until recently till I realized, 
that actually, you know, what Marshall was showing you are linear vectors that makes up the geometry. The, new, the universe is not doing that. It's just the way little Planck spheres are packing. It makes that geometry. It produces those ratios. Like on your shirt. Like on my shirt, yeah. And so it doesn't, you know, so, so then you start to get it that like, it's not like the universe is making geometry. It's just the way spheres are packing that geometry, like the way oscillation in the structure of the vacuum intersect and creates like interference pattern. It makes up that geometry and produces this, these ratios that you can almost say reverberate into nature and produces our world. <laughs>